Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet of Bullets. In this video I'm going to show you how to actually use DOSBox. Now if you don't know what DOSBox is, this is basically an application that will or a uh, program that will allow you to actually run DOS games on XP, Vista, 7, stuff like that. Um, now some DOS games as you do know you can just simply click and run, some of them. Uh, and there is many techniques and ways that you're able to actually run DOS games uh, within Windows operating systems. But I'm going to just be showing you DOSBox in this video and how to actually use it. So first of all, obviously, you're going to want to go and download DOSBox. Link in the description to go and download DOSBox. And then you're going to go and download an actual DOS game. Now, obviously, there's a lot of shareware ones out there. There's a lot of uh, freeware ones and demo ones and so on. In this one, I'm going to be showing you Duke Nukem 3D. So this is the folder, and it's in C drive. So what you want to first do is you want to open DOSBox, and you need to create a mount so it will be able to actually run off something. So you want to put mount. And then you want to put the drive that it's in, so it's C. So you put the drive name, so if it was J, for instance, I'd put J, and if it was D, I'd put G D. This is C. So you put C, and then you put C again, and then you'll put what you actually want to mount. So this, this folder is called Duke 3D. So I put that, and then it will come up. Drive C is mounted as a local directory. Now, if it was drive D, it'd come up drive D, and so on, you get the picture. And then you want to actually enter that drive, so you'll then put the drive name like that. And then you'll be within that drive. And now you want to actually run this application. So now I'm in this, practically I'm in this folder. I want to be able to run this application now. So all I need to do is then type Duke 3D, which is there. Now obviously you're going to have to try a couple of things because sometimes it just doesn't work. Now this is coming up that this is uh, entering all this. Now of course obviously if you haven't installed the game, you're going to need to go and um, run the, the install, just like this one says, which I was expecting it to do. So you want to type in setup, which obviously there is a thing called setup in this folder. Obviously, it will tell you what you need to run if it's something different. Now, I've typed in setup. Click enter. It's going to go and find that. And now it's going to bring me into the setup gauge. Now, obviously, again, this you aren't going to be using Duke Nukem to try and play. Therefore, you can have different settings. It's not going to come up this, but I'm just going to click save and launch. They're not going to change any of that. Now, this is uh, booting the game up. And as you can now see, I'm in Duke Nukem. It is that easy. So simply all you need to do is type all that in, uh, and then run the game. As I say, different setups is going to be different for every game. So for instance, if I go out of this and go back into it again. And now I'm going to try a different game. I'm now going to do this one called A, which is actually uh, Pickle Wars, and if you've ever heard of it. So simply all you need to do is type mount, and then the drive name, and then the drive name again. I oh, didn't mean to put Z, and I've called it A just so it's easy to get to. Go to that directory. Uh, now, for this one, I want to be able to. You need to look for the one which will obviously be the main run. So, with this, I'm going to be overrun now. I'm going to be running PW1, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be running PW1. So, for some, you need to just simply type in PW1 now. And as you can see, that's simple. So some of them are harder than others to run, but in the end they're all easy. If you do have any complications with this whatsoever, please leave a comment in the comment section about a game that you're having trouble with. I'll go and download that game and try to help you with that. So it is a simple process really, and that is about it. This is how to use DOSBox, and that's how, how to actually run a game. So if you did not have videos, please do comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching.